Hey Flancy people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I was having a little bit of a struggle trying to figure out what I wanted to film because I definitely want to get two videos out a week for you guys. I'm trying to do Mondays and Thursdays. And I was trying to figure out, I was like, there's several things that I kind of want to film, but nothing that was just like, ooh, I really need to film that. Nothing was really reaching out to me until I was like, oh, I need to look at some of my bills that I need to pay for. And then I realized that I needed to talk about this. Now I'm going to say a big, huge, giant thank you to Caitlin from Plant Life in the Tropics because she spoke out about this probably a month or so ago and a lot of other people have spoken out about this as well. And thankfully she did and made herself, you know, that vulnerable because this is stuff that we really need to be talking about. And that is the gist of this video is I pulled up my Klarna account, which you can use on Etsy and purchase plants, and I realized that I have a problem. Now, I've never wanted to admit it out loud. I kind of knew, like, in the back of my head that, you know, maybe you should be spending your money a little bit more wisely, especially because I don't make as much money as I used to. I used to work for a different company where I like brought in an extra 100 to 150 dollars home every single week and that is definitely not the case now my bills uh my car payment is almost done so that will be really exciting i'll get an extra 450 dollars a month back <laughs> into my wallet <laughs> but that's beside the point i think it is taking me a really long time to finally come to the conclusion that I do have a plant purchasing problem. Now, this is not a opportunity for me to make you guys feel bad for me or make anybody feel any type of way like guilty or anything like that because I needed to come to this conclusion and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because maybe you guys are, are trying to come to terms with it yourself. Um, but what made me realize that I had a problem was that I have a Klarna account and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the fact that I have the amount of money that I have on there that I need to pay off. And it's just, it's just not, it doesn't make me feel good. I'm, I'm just glad, I'm glad that it came to this point before it got like really, really incredibly out of hand like the amount that I need to pay off is very manageable. If I wanted to, I could pay it off, you know, in a few months. I just wanted you guys to know that I have a problem <laughs> of buying plants. And I very much so can relate to Caitlin whenever she was talking about it in her video. She was saying that there was a lot of times where she could have hung out with friends and didn't because she wanted to save her money and buy the next you know it plant whatever was you know speaking to her and I very much so felt that I do feel I will be transparent and tell you guys that I do feel less of a uh, rush and less of a like almost like panic <laughs> that I need to get my wish list plants so that has definitely helped. I have definitely acquired a lot of plants that I really, really love and have really wanted for a few years now. And now that I've gotten, for the most part, everything that I've really wanted, I just really need to calm down and really need to stop worrying about what the next plant is. And <laughs> because I had, at the very beginning, I had the idea of I will never spend more than 20 to $30 on a plant. Like if it's gonna be a $30 plant, it's gonna be huge. And it's probably gonna be something that I have to pick up locally or something like that. And once I started seeing plants that I've never seen for sale, get up above that 20 and $30 margin, I was just, I would tell myself, well, I've never seen this before. I don't know when there will be another one and I would shell out the money for it. And it quickly became $50, $75, $100, $150. <laughs> 
I have spent an obnoxious amount of money on plants and I'm actually kind of ashamed to admit it out loud. This is <laughs> this is like a coming to Jesus moment that I am having for the first time with myself out loud with you guys. So <laughs> please be kind in the comments. And yeah, but <sighs> there's been so many times where on Fridays, me and my boyfriend, we have date night. And so many times because I have bought an expensive plant that week or that month and I'm running, you know, kind of short on funds, I wouldn't treat him the way that he always treats me whenever we go out on date nights. Because we alternate. I pay for one date night and he pays for the next one. So each week we're trying to, you know, do something a little bit special for each other. And it came to the point where I was taking him to the cheapest places every single time where when it was coming to my turn to pay. And that's not right. I I want to be giving him the exact type of treatment that he is giving me. And I'm just, you know, I'm just ashamed of myself for letting it get this far. <laughs> With the last stimulus check that I received. Okay, so let me go even farther back. So with the first stimulus check, I received I went absolutely like ape shit and spent all that money on plants now I did I did pay for groceries and stuff like that that whenever I had that money but the majority of it went to plants I have so many bills I could have paid like it, it's it's stupid and then the second stimulus check came in and I was a little bit more like okay you know Let's be a little bit more careful and maybe buy one or two plants with it. And I did a little bit better that time around because I'd already acquired several other plants that I had been wanting before that check came in. And yeah, I wasn't as rec reckless, but that, uh, but then again, that money went gone so fast. Um, and then this third stimulus check that we received here in the U.S. I don't know if anybody outside of the U.S. is watching. I know that some of you guys are outside of the U.S. But the third one came in and I was actually the most responsible I have been with money. And I paid bills with it and I think I might have bought one plant. Oh, which is my elbow. <laughs> um, and I am not ashamed of admitting that. I think that... Uh, it's okay to treat yourself on occasion, but definitely not on a weekly basis like I have done in the past. <laughs> um, but even more of a backstory to my personal life is that I did not get the upbringing of save your money, save your money, save your money. That was never instilled in me at a young age because I grew up very, very poor. And so whenever I would receive like $5, $10, $20 for like birthday or Christmas money, every single time I would get that money, it was always like, what are you going to get? What are you going to buy? What are you going to get with that $5? You could put it into savings or you can go and buy a new pair of shoes. And I just really would love to start saving money. Even though I'm, in, I'm I'm 27, it's never too late to start saving money. It's never too uh, too late to right your wrongs and start correcting what you feel like you have done wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of babbling. I'm just kind of like speaking out loud to myself and to you guys. But yeah, with that being said, I very much so would like to start a goal for myself. And I uh, I haven't mentioned her before, but... The planted Carly flower. I really like her. She's really, really sweet. I met her over on Ashley's Discord, uh, Plant Me Ashley's Discord, and she has started her YouTube channel as well. And she's got a lot of great content out there. But she created a a really good and strict budget for herself, and I think that that is what I'm going to do right here and right now. I'm going to vow to you guys that I will not spend more then oh my goodness this is so hard to create a budget for yourself because you know you want to say i don't want to spend any more than 50 dollars on plants a month 
And then you're just like, well, what if you go into a big box store and you see a couple of them for 10 or 15 or $20? Well, there goes your plant budget. But you know what? That I'm going to I'm going to do it. I am not going to be spending more than $50 on plant purchases a month from here on out. Now, that does not include um, trades, that does not include soil or any type of medium that I may need for my plants. That's a little bit different, I think. Um, but I've never been spending a whole lot of money on my medium and pots and stuff like that in general. I've usually just wanted to save that money and buy a really fun, new ex and exciting plant. But yeah, I think that it is time that I set some boundaries with myself and come to terms with the fact that I do have a plant purchasing problem. And I have, I have that type of, I have that personality where you, you can see behind me, I have this whole entire desk drawer filled with makeup. <laughs> and that used to be like so top priority for me for a really long time until I reached a point of, okay, I have enough. And it takes me a really long time to realize that I have a lot, I have enough. So yeah, I hope that you guys don't judge me too hard in the comments and maybe you guys can relate to me a little bit, but I just wanted to come out and say that I do have a problem and I would love to fix it. And it's time that I fix it. I'm 27 years old. It's time that I start saving money a much, much, much better than I have. It's time that I start getting rid of some credit cards. I've gotten rid of them in the past and <laughs> they have accumulated yet again. And yeah, I, I do hope that you guys are nice and not mean in the comments. Please let me know in the comments down below if you're realizing that you also have a spending problem that you're trying to work on, whether it's plants, makeup, shoes, cats, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can talk to talk to each other about it. Yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.